Thank you, for giving me this opportunity to present my work on high accuracy 3D imaging and sensing for shape, deformation, motion, and vibration measurements. I am currently an associate professor, and have been working on computer vision and 3D imaging since year 2007. In this presentation, I will first introduce the 3D imaging work that my group carried out in the past, and will then present some new research projects that we are currently working on. Why do we do 3D sensing and imaging? Three-dimensional sensing and imaging reveals more qualitative and quantitative information than the two-dimensional imaging, and thus can better reflect the nature of the world. Currently, 3D sensing and imaging techniques have emerged as an important tool for numerous applications in many fields, such as machine vision, unmanned vehicle, robots, 3D printing, product inspection, structural health monitoring, flexible electronics, etc. At present, there are a number of existing techniques capable of performing 3D imaging. These techniques normally fall into two categories. One is based on using stereo cameras with or without structured light to measure depth via triangulation. Another one is based on using time of flight sensors that measures depth by estimating the time delay from light emission to light detection. The time of flight and the triangulation methods each have strengths and weaknesses that make them suitable for different situations. The advantage of the time of flight method is that it is capable of operating over very long distances and thus suitable for scanning large structures like buildings or geographic features. The disadvantage of the time of flight method is its relatively low accuracy, on the contrary, the triangulation method provides relatively high accuracy on the order of tens of micrometers, but the imaging range is often of some meters. In my research work, I use a passive and easy to use technique based on stereo vision which has numerous advantages in practice. Technically, it belongs to the triangulation category but it possesses the advantages of both the time of flight and the triangulation methods. Furthermore, we have recently developed deep machine learning based 3D imaging and sensing schemes. The new techniques have unprecedented advantages. First, let me explain how the technique works. In human eyes, the mind combines two separate images to build a 3D stereo picture by matching up the similarities and adding in the small differences. This natural vision mechanism is used in stereo machine vision, where the technique uses two or multiple cameras. It looks simple but is actually very challenging. This is the schematic of the technique. Here, a physical point P is imaged as Q and Q' prime in the image planes of the two cameras, respectively. The goal here is to accurately determine the 3D coordinates of point P with respect to a world coordinate system from points Q and Q'. Prime. This process includes two steps, one is to calibrate the cameras. The goal is to get the intrinsic and extrinsic parameters, which gives geometry information of the 3D measurement system. The second step is to perform image matching, which involves detecting the same physical points in the two images which helps determine the 3D coordinates from triangulation. This is a flowchart shows the procedure of a camera calibration. These two steps highlighted by yellow arrows can help substantially enhance the calibration accuracy. The figures on the right show that our calibration result is over 20 times more accurate than the other popular camera calibration algorithms. The image matching process is comprised of image rectification and image correlation. Image rectification is employed to achieve fast matching by aligning all the matching point pairs along the same horizontal lines. Image correlation is to achieve high matching accuracy. The cost function shown here is a simple one, and the actual one is more complex. In this computer simulation, a sophisticated interpolation algorithm is employed to shift the picture on the left by 3.14159 and minus 2.71828 pixels in the horizontal and vertical directions, respectively. Our image matching scheme is able to detect the motion with an ultra-high accuracy, at 10 to the power of negative 5 pixels. 
An alternative way to facilitate the image matching is to replace a camera with a projector. Technically, the projector serves as a reverse camera. The matching occurs between the computer-generated image and the camera-captured image. Next, I will show some of the 3D imaging and sensing experiments that we carried out in the past a few years. They involve different kinds of objects at different scales, such as real person, plaster sculpture, toys, seashells, and so on. This experiment demonstrates that we can build 3D human face from two regular images directly. These are some additional 3D imaging results of objects with different surface colors and textures. This experiment shows that we have a unique scheme to measure the 3D shapes of shiny objects. This slide shows three experiments where the first one is to estimate the pavement frictions of road from 3D images, and the second experiment shows generating 3D images of a fossil shark tooth. The third one shows 3D imaging of an object with very complex shapes. This experiment demonstrates the high imaging accuracy at micron level. And this experiment shows that the technique can be used to measure vibrations. It is noted that the measurement accuracy is 5 microns in this experiment. As we all know, the sound is a mechanical wave that propagates through the air. We can hear the sound, and other objects can technically hear the sound too. In this experiment, we played two audio clips through speakers, and a CUA student newspaper responded to the audio and vibrated. By detecting the tiny vibration of the newspaper, we can reconstruct the audios from silent high-speed videos. In each of the two following examples, the first audio is the original one and the second one is the reconstructed one, this is the original audio. And this is the reconstructed audio from detecting tiny vibrations. This is the original audio. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And this is the reconstructed audio from detecting tiny vibrations. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Compared with the other existing 3D sensing and imaging techniques, our technique has a number of advantages. Easy to implement and flexible sensing. The technique uses digital cameras as the key hardware components. The 3D shape and other geometric details are extracted from images or videos that may be captured from any directions with an arbitrary setup of the cameras. This feature allows both experimentalists and non-experimentalists to easily use the technique. Accurate Sensing The 3D sensing and imaging is capable of yielding accurate geometric details of various scenes and objects, as well as their 3D shapes, locations, deformations motions and vibrations. The relative accuracy is around 1 over 10,000. Fast speed sensing. The 3D sensing speed can be real-time or be identical to the camera capturing speed. It may reach thousands or millions of frames per second with high-speed cameras. Broad range sensing. The 3D sensing range is essentially determined by the imaging range of the cameras, therefore the field of view can range from very small to very large. Full field sensing. The 3D sensing results can generally be obtained point by point in the field of interest. In general, our technique is such a technique that, what you can see, is what you can build in 3D. This essential feature makes our technique suitable for many interesting applications. Next, I will present some new research projects that we are currently working on or plan to conduct. Because our technique can detect tiny motion in 3D, an interesting project that we are currently working on is to measure the heart rate and blood pressure by using cameras only. Recently, high blood pressure is redefined as 80 130 not 90 slash 140 anymore. This means that nearly half Americans now have high blood pressure. 
Unlike the conventional heart rate and blood pressure measurement methods, our method is non-contact and can be remote, where a person is simply required to be in the field of the camera of you for a few seconds. We believe that our method will have considerable significance in the future. It is noted that our proposed technique allows to measure the blood pressures of a group of people simultaneously. Our preliminary result shows that we can detect heart rate very accurately and reliably. This experiment shows that by using multiple images captured by a single camera, we can build a 3D map. In this work, we aim to build 3D map with great ease and high accuracy. The third application is the 3D sensing for driverless vehicles. At present, such a 3D sensing technique is highly demanded by autonomous vehicle industry, however, a reliable solution is still lacking. We are currently tackling this problem. We are currently using convolutional neural network-based deep machine learning schemes to achieve 3D sensing and imaging. This example shows real-time distance detection from monocular video. This example shows using CNN-based deep machine learning method for audio reconstruction from silent video. This is the original audio. The people dreamed this country. The people built this country. And it's the people who are making America great again. This is reconstructed audio from detected vibration using deep machine learning. The people dreamed this country. The people built this country, and it's the people who are making America great again. This is the original audio. That's why you brought them here. They're backing off. That won't work. Cousins to the end zone. Touchdown, Jamison Crowder. On the 10th play of the drive. This is reconstructed audio from detected vibration using deep machine learning. That's why you brought them here. The back and off, that won't work. Cousins to the end zone, touchdown, Jamison Crowder. On the 10th play. The last and important new project that we propose to work on is to extend the 3D sensing and imaging technique to underwater applications. The objective of the project is to develop a flexible, high accuracy, fast speed, and full field 3D sensing and imaging system for 3D dimension, location shape, deformation, motion, and vibration measurements in underwater missions. This work is based on our recent research achievements in ultra-high camera calibration, accurate image matching, convolutional neural network, autoencoder, and other deep machine learning algorithms. The research on 3D underwater sensing and imaging sounds interesting, but a question may arise is, we already have sonar for 3D underwater sensing and imaging. Why do we need this camera-based technique? It is well known that sound travels much shorter distances than light in the air. On the other hand, sound can travel much further than light in the water. This feature makes sound be capable of measuring the distance to an underwater object far away. Technically, an active sonar uses a sound transmitter and a receiver. Because the speed of underwater sound is known, by measuring the time from transmission of a pulse to reception, the distance to an object can be directly calculated. By using thousands of beams per acoustic transmission, the sonar can be employed to perform 3D imaging. Sonar is acoustic imaging. It is an indirect technique suitable for a long-range imaging, however, its scanning and time of flight natures lead to its main disadvantage of low imaging resolution and relatively low speed. In contrast, in camera based imaging is an optical method. It is a direct technique suitable for short range, fast speed, and high resolution applications. Therefore, our 3D sensing and imaging technique can facilitate technologies in many underwater missions by serving as a significant supplement to the conventional sonar sensing and imaging. In practice, we can employ sonar imaging to find the target and use camera-based imaging to obtain the details. Particularly, 
It not only can perform underwater 3D shape measurements, but also can measure the formations, motions, and vibrations. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you, for your time and interest.